Alright guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of Wii Station. This is version 3.2. This is going to allow you to play the PS1 games on the Wii or the Wii U. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. So one's going to be for my page, so scroll down until you find the wallpaper of this video. There's going to be a download link with all the files you're going to need. And I'm also going to be leaving you the Wii Station Game Group page. This is going to tell you uh, all about the improvements to this emulator. So if you guys want to go through it, there's a lot here. And this is also where you're going to find the compatibility list. So just um, have a read through the page. So with the zip folder, you're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. You're going to need to copy the contents to the root of your Wii's SD card formatted as BAT32. I'm going to be showing you how to install the WAD channel using Wiimod Lite. The PS1 BIOS goes in the BIOS folder. Uh, games go in the ISOs folder in .chd or bin in Q. And then like I said before, have a look at the compatibility list to see uh, which games perform the best. So now for the folder. So here's the folder with all the files. So apps folder is going to have Wii Mod Lite and Wii Station. Wads is going to have the Wii Station folder. And then the Wii SXRX going to have a BIOS folder. So this is where you put your PS1 BIOS. And the ISOs folder. This is where you put your games. So just select all the folders and drag and drop them to the root of your Wii's SD card. So that's basically all you're going to need for the setup of your SD card. Now we're going to get on the Nintendo Wii. I'll show you how to install the channel and a little bit of the emulator. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna load up the homebrew channel. Start. We're gonna load up a Wiimot Lite to install the channel. Uh, go down to the WAD manager and press A. Press A on the WSD slot. Go down to your WADs folder and press A. So Wii Station folder, press A. And then A to install. This shouldn't take too long. So press any key to continue. Press B. And then press the home button. Now press the home button again. Exit the system menu. Now you should have the Wii Station forwarder. So there it is. So now we're going to start it up. Start. So first thing we're going to do is go into the settings. So general. Select CPU core, light rack, the BIOS, make sure it's selected to the SD, boot through BIOS, yes, language, English, fast load, no, safe settings, SD, now video, show frames per second on, limit frames per second auto, frame skip off, screen mode, uh, you can go 4x3, 16x9, or this emulator also supports uh, 240p. So 4x3 for me. Uh, this one defaults, filters, just leave them all on. Input, this is where you're going to input your controller. Uh, so PSX controller type, standard. Uh, disable rumble, no. Save button config. 
uh, you can pick the SD card and then auto load slot, leave it as default. Auto is basically all set up. Saves, um, memory card save device, SD. Auto save mem cards, yes. Save states device, SD. And then enable memory card. You can just pick the one card. Um, so that's basically all the settings. Now press B to go back. Now I'm going to be using the Wii Pro controller for this. But like I said, you can use the GameCube controller, uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck, Wii U Pro controller, etc. So there you go. I got my controller plugged in. I'm going to go to load ISO, press A from SD if that's what you're using. So I have two games, so Tekken and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I'm just going to start them quickly. So I am using the CHD format games, so press A. Uh, press A again. Now play game. So both these games are running at uh, 60 frames per second or close, which is what you want. So this game, no issues at all. Now press the home button. We're going to load up another game quickly. So load ISO from SD. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Okay. And then play game. And it loads up the BIOS and then the game. So this game is running at 60 as well. I'm going to press the home button and go back. I'm going to plug in my nunchuck to my Wii Remote. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the uh, light gun games. So make sure you have your nunchuck plugged in. You're going to go over to the settings section. Go over to input. Uh, go over to light gun change it to gun con and then configure buttons and this is where you're going to map out your uh, buttons for your gun so we're going to change this to a this one to b and this one we'll just use the z button and then save and now you'll have your uh, gun games all set up press now you can go back go back again and then resume your game um, so we're going to exit out. So that is how you set up uh, Wii Station uh, 3.2. Like I said, this is the latest version. I will leave all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.